about the question who am I? Uh, next uh, I want to talk about a private male in German. I'm translating from the German uh, here. Uh, first, uh, the person who asks or who comments sends me a link to a blog called Zenist. I will put that link below, in where the blogger talks about observing the observer. Um, and uh, the commenter is asking, am I right that I see something like a crisis of faith uh, in you? Crisis of faith. I'm not quite sure what kind of faith uh, that could be. It's rather a question what that was always there. The intensity of the question was cause of varying, but I wouldn't exactly call it a crisis of faith. And uh, the commenter continues, I saw lots of your clips um, and I think that I'm not the only one who noticed that many of the things that you say aren't really plausible. Uh, I made my, I voiced my criticism in a mailing list, so I don't want to hide it from you either, uh, although you don't have to explain yourself. Uh, for one thing, I think that the metaphor of dying on the cushion isn't a good metaphor. For me, such a thing is not dying. If you have the choice to either stand up and go, or to sit, that's not dying. And it's only subjective if you think that there's no choice. It's not an objective dying, as in the case of actual dying, where you can, nothing, where you can do nothing about it. Um, so, first about uh, this point here. Um, I sometimes say that uh, before a session, for example, on the second day, on the third day, it might feel as if you're dying, but don't worry, there's still space in the graveyard for you. Just die. And sometimes, when you can actually, when you really can have that attitude, okay, uh, I'm gonna die, everything gets much easier. And, of course, uh, the commenter is right that that's different from real dying. It's not physical dying. It's all on the psychological side. You let go of all these resistances. You stop to fight. You stop to try to escape. Um, if somebody would be in a situation where he might actually die, like, for example, uh, Suppose if one racer would ask me about with what attitude should I uh, do this race in Suzuka, Japan. I wouldn't tell him, well, you should drive with the intention to die. Um, if somebody's uh, working on a construction site in a dangerous situation, I wouldn't say, well, just work as if you want to die. Still, in Zen, there's this saying, if you're standing on a pole that's 100 foot high, you're standing on this 100 foot high pole, you should make one step ahead. Why do people say that? Well, because we say that to people that are sitting on a cushion. Uh, no Zen master would say that to somebody who's actually standing on a foot that is 100 foot. Nobody would say that to somebody who's actually standing on the top of a pole. Um, so yes, of course, it's different from actual dying. It's, it's psychological. Uh, and because people only feel as if they are dying, that's why you tell them, be ready to die. Uh, the same thing is actually true, for example, for this, uh, the code of the samurai, the hagakure. 
uh, written by a guy called Yamamoto, who was a samurai, but he never fought on the battlefield. Uh, Yamamoto was basically what today would be a public servant. He never fought uh, himself on the battlefield. Uh, still, in the Code of the Samurai, he says, if you have the choice between life and death, you should choose death. Why does he say that? Well, because it's not saying to people on the battlefield. On the battlefield, it would be stupid if you would run into an open sword. Um, so on the battlefield, or in the case of a F1 racer, or in the case of somebody working on a dangerous situation on the uh, construction side, you would say rather say, well, forget about life and forget about death and just concentrate on the task at hand. See what you can do best in this moment. But if that's not the case, you could go, you can go a step further and say, choose death. If the option is only imagine imaginary, if it's only in the psychology, if it's only a subjective psychological cho choice, it's safe to say you should choose death. If it's a real cho choice, of course you don't say that. It would be uh, irresponsible to say that. Um, it's a little bit uh, like um, with body-mind. Mm, Dogen Zenji has different, differing uh, definitions of body mind. Uh, sometimes he says body mind means to see impermanence. But uh, then he says body mind means to wish to help others before yourself. It means to guide others to Nirvana before you reach Nirvana yourself. And that's a little bit confusing or surprising because usually it says that self and others are not different. So when I help others, I'm helping myself. When others reach nirvana, I reach nirvana. When I reach nirvana, others reach nirvana. So why would we make a separation there, you could ask. Um, what is wrong with trying to become a Buddha? When I become Buddha, everybody becomes a Buddha. Still, Dogen Zenji says, forget about becoming a Buddha, help others first. Um, it's a little bit like in the case of dying. You could also say, well, forget about both life and death, because they're one. There's no reason to choose death. It's not a real choice anyway. Still, sometimes we say, be prepared to die. Uh, sit with the determination to die. Um, the point is, the moment you make that wish, you really feel that wish to help others before yourself, you realize nothing is missing, nothing is missing. Um, I actually found nirvana in the moment I forgot about my personal nirvana. The moment you forget about nirvana for yourself and think about the others, that's when you find nirvana. And the same with this uh, psychological, subjective death wish, which isn't a real death wish, but the moment you accept that you might die on the cushion, you realize, oh, I'm alive, I'm alive. I was alive all the time, but I didn't realize how wonderful it was. I always uh, was looking for something else or try to escape this present situation. And the moment you open yourself for death, you feel how miraculous it is to be alive. So it's right. Um, dying on the cushion isn't real dying. Just because of that. That's the exact reason. Uh, why I tell people, be prepared to die on the cushion. Then there's another comment, uh, which I will talk about in the next video.